Hi Capricorn, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your mid-July reading. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're just going to see what comes up. This is for the middle of July. We're going to do this a little bit different this time. We are going to do you and them, you and the other person. We're going to do one side over here, one side over here. You pick what side is yours. Alright? So you and them. We're just going to see, you know, whoever it is that you're dealing with, what's going on. Um... Whatever, whatever. Let's. What do we got for Capricorn? What do we have for Capricorn? Mid July. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid. Okay. So this could be resonate at any time. If it doesn't resonate right now, come back later and watch it. It's a preview. Mmm. Capricorn, you may be, somebody's holding on to something and it's getting old, but we got somebody who are here that's taking back control, okay? Taking the lead. This is, this is, uh, doing what I have to do. So this has got, this is, this is the boss. This is the father. Got to do what I got to do. Somebody is holding on to something, maybe because they're a father. You know, they got to do what they got to do. They're holding on to this dead end. They could be dealing with a lot of conflict with the Prince of Swords reversed. Somebody that uh, is petty. You know, somebody that gossips. Somebody that bites off more they can chew than, that, than they can chew. Somebody that sticks their nose in when they shouldn't. So we could have somebody, uh, almost like a meddler here. Um, this is a card of happiness. Three of Cups socializing, dating, um, celebrating. So you could be, you know, you could be taking on this energy, Capricorn. You could be looking at somebody who doesn't care if they hurt you. Oh, shit. We're going to do you and the other person. We're going to, we're going to put this over here. But anyway, um, you could be dealing with a person that doesn't care if they hurt you and they could be, you know, you could be dealing with a third party situation. Okay, you could be dealing with somebody who's cheating on you. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm just saying or somebody that's engaging with another person, you know, behind your back. Just saying, I don't know. Maybe not, but that could certainly be the case. Or this, you know, whether it's you or the other person, somebody is, you know, definitely socializing and mingling and communicating and putting themselves out there. Um, temperance reversed. Four of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, reversed, Seven of Pentacles upright. So you don't complete me. This person doesn't want to work together anymore. This person is mentally exhausted. This person is investing their time and energy someplace else. So this person is seeing it. This person knows that this person is no longer invested. This person is is probably not wanting to come together, not wanting to um, compromise, not wanting to cooperate. This person over here is investing in something else, planting their seeds elsewhere. This person... Um, <laughs> It's not love. This is not love. It's not emotionally fulfilling. This person is not in love. This person is not happy. Ace of Cups reversed. Ooh, the universe. But there's unfinished business. This person is. Oh my goodness. It's like this person is refusing to learn the lesson, refusing to step over the finish line, perhaps because of money. Could be because of, you know, maybe they don't have the money to break free or whatever. They may be staying just for the money. There's there's a completion that is needed here, but we got somebody here that is reluctant to allow it with this universe card reversed. Um, hmm. Oh, the Wheel of Fortune reversed and the universe reversed. So this is somebody who <clears throat> is staying stuck in a basically uh, un, an, an emotionally unfulfilling situation because 
maybe they, they don't dare to be alone. Maybe they are afraid of being alone. Maybe they don't have enough money. Maybe they're saving money. You know, maybe they're just biding their time and they're waiting for that right moment to complete this chapter. This part, this is, this is going to come to an end. It is going to come to an end, but there is a delay. There's a delay because it's like this person isn't, just isn't ready. They aren't ready to make their move. And one of the reasons they're not ready is because of money and they're probably saving their money. They may be hiding their money or whatever or, or something like that. Um, whoever this person is, this person um, may be holding you back, Capricorn. If this is your side, this person, whatever side is yours, this person is bringing you backwards. You know, they're they're biding their time. It's like this cycle is coming to an end. It is coming to an end. But we have this person that is reluctant to take the check take charge and maybe that's why this person has to take charge because this person sees what's going on here this person sees this person refuses to compromise or come together or work together this person is very frustrated this person may be very moody this person um is very fixed this person is scared of change but is not in love Okay, this is not love. It's not love. This person over here is a leader. This person is the boss, could be the father. This person is holding on, you know, watching this person, you know, watching this person communicate or thinking about socializing. This could go many, many different ways. Empress. Prince of Cups. Four of Wands. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Okay, so this is this is good over here. So here here we have this this we have this boss here. We have this very dominant individual who is very family oriented, who is very structured and organized, who is very responsible. This person may be coming together with his empress okay look at this shit this is this is this is it this is it i mean this is the match this is it this is the this is the divine divine feminine and the divine masculine coming together okay this is this is meant to be so you know for for whoever this side is for this guy is looking at a reunion with his i get the goosebumps with his his true soulmate I, I, I can't even i can't even make this up okay so we have a this is a reunion so this guy is looking at a soulmate reunion with his true soulmate but there is somebody in the way there is there is and i think it maybe maybe it's this person it could be this person over here um, this is a, a, an opportunity for happily ever after. You're, you could you could come together with this person at a celebration. There's a picnic or a wedding or a funeral or or anything where there's a bunch of people getting together. You know, there's some sort of celebration. Could be a cele whatever the celebration is, and, and that brings these two people together. It could be a funeral. It's funny that I said that. I don't know why, but anyway. Um, we have love right in between the two, these two people. Two people. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I'm having a hard time communicating, and, and that would make sense. Two people are about to come back together, whether they have met in this lifetime or not. This is this is love. It could be, you know, the minute they they see each other, they know that it's love. Okay, that could certainly be the case. Um, this is the birth of a new life. This is uh, an opportunity to come together with your true soulmate. So this person right here on this side is going to have a reunion with their soulmate. And that is what this is. This person over here is holding them back. This is the person that is holding them back. Mm. 
And that's what I got. Be prepared. Be prepared. I mean, there's no need for me to keep going. I know exactly what this is. We got somebody here that is stuck. They are stuck in an unrequited love situation. You could be dealing with somebody who just doesn't want to compromise. They don't want to give in. They're frustrated. They're holding on just for the assets. This person has a lesson to learn with that universe reverse. That is the world card. Has a lesson to learn about, you know, I you can take care of yourself, about self-sufficiency, about um, abundance, about mastering of emotions, about gratitude. This person is ungrateful. This could be one of these people's exes, which it probably is, or the person that they're, the monkey in the middle. Whoever this person is, this person is, is, is hindering this connection. But this is a love connection over here that is undeniable. It's meant to be. It's a true, true, true soulmate connection. And you, you, uh, you know, this could be somebody that you haven't even met in this lifetime. And you're going to meet them very soon. Or it's somebody that you already know. It's somebody that you are very familiar with. It's a true soulmate connection right here. This is not the same person that has caused so much frustration. So much, you know disharmony in your life this is not this person this is bad luck this is this is going backwards this person has you know <laughs> caused a delay but there's a reason there is a reason because divine timing is real So there's a there's a message there's message or there's an offer of love coming in for this person over here, and it is beautiful. It's beautiful. It's powerful. It's it's this is a power couple. Both of these people are very abundant. They're very structured. They're very uh, creative. They're very well put together. They're they both uh, you know they have their shit together. Both of these people are ready for commitment, and they're probably going to, you know, head down that commitment road. This is not this person. We're going to need a couple. I know that I said it was over, but we're going to get a couple more cards here. The Fool. No. Now, this is a new beginning starting from scratch, starting over. I feel like this person is needing to take that leap of faith. This person right here is needing to start over. They're needing to let go of the baggage that they're hanging on to and start their new life. Stop whoever this person is needs to stop hanging on just for the money or just for the security of it. It's time. It's time to live again. It's time to begin again. It's time to start over. It's time for a change. Now this is this is this is a card of, of consequences as well. There's consequences for staying stuck. It's time. It's time to take that next step. It's time to bring balance back. We have somebody here that is, you know, very unbalanced and unharmonious and it's it's time to accept the change that has been presented and start over and let go of whatever it is that they have been clinging to clinging to control clinging to the past clinging to what they knew no it's time to start over it's time to accept change it's time to take that next step it's time to adapt to the new circumstances that destiny is trying to push this person into 
It's like there's it's change is destined change is needed. And we got somebody here that is letting fear of the unknown stop them from their new life. So anyway, we have a change coming. We do have a change coming. It's inevitable. Yeah, there's a delay. We have somebody here that is biding their time, probably saving their money, waiting to get the money to escape, to start over. It's going to happen. This person may get the money this month. Or maybe they might, you know, just decide to accept the change. Maybe they just decide to jump, to take that leap. This person might decide, you know what, it's time for me to go. Let's hope that's the case. They may, with this Prince of Wands on the bottom. The, it, both of these, this is going to stay right here in the middle. Both of these people got a new exciting opportunity being presented to them. I think this one's going to take it. This one might be forced to take it because this one takes it. I don't know. But this one right here. This is this is a, a, a new suitor, a new opportunity, a new exciting path opening up with with something that is very well suited for both of these people. But somebody has to find their strength and their courage to just go to do it. So anyway, I do feel like action is going to be taken for both sides because this is an exciting opportunity that is too attractive to pass up so Capricorn that's what I got this person has been resisting change but I think they're gonna take a leap of faith this person is about to come together with their true soulmate And they will probably meet them at a gathering. Some sort of picnic gathering, funeral, wedding, whatever. There's a lot of people there. That's what I got. Good luck.